Hello, this is Faye. In anticipation of Mother's Day, I thought I'd say just a few words for estranged mothers out there. Always looking for some way to support you um, during more difficult times of the year. I guess the first thing I would say is that what you need depends a bit on where you are in your recovery process. For mothers that are dealing with their first Mother's Day after estrangement or the second, um, there's probably not a lot that I'm going to say that's going to change your feelings about this Mother's Day. And I would say whatever you can do, whatever it takes, for you to get through that first or second Mother's Day, do it. You have permission to do it, as long as it's not harmful to you or to somebody else. And often that's going to be distractions of one kind or another, planning a massage or a massage parlor that's open on Sundays, um, going to a movie, getting together with uh, maybe folks online who are also estranged parents, um, going to a concert, taking a hike, binge watching your favorite shows. Again, whatever it takes for you to get through this day, you have permission to do that. Now, if you're further along in the recovery process, um, rather than distractions, doing things that contribute to what I call your resilience might be helpful. Uh, resilience is building our lives capacity in our lives to kind of be able to take shots and yet still um, still be able to go forward and be okay. And that usually requires an intentional effort to um, build into our lives certain strengths and capacities in different areas. So you may have decided, for example, that you need to develop your spiritual life. So you may want to plan a retreat over Mother Day, Mother's Day weekend of one kind or another, or you may decide that you want to strengthen your friendships. So you may want to take part of that day to be in touch with people or send, send them a thank you note or um, uh, some kind of expression of gratitude. Read a book in a particular area in which you need to strengthen your life or listen to an audio book. Set some goals, start a gratitude journal. Um, what are some things that you need to do to make your life stronger in a variety of areas uh, so that as you move forward in your life, you will have that kind of resilience to be able to fall down and get back up again. Uh, for those of you that may be further down the line of recovery, um, there may be some ways that you can change your thinking about Mother's Day and about your own identity that might be helpful. Again. These are not going to be things that are going to be very helpful in that first year or two. But as we are moving along in the recovery process, changing our thinking is something we're able to do and we're not in such pain. So here's one thing to think about. Mother's Day was actually begun by a woman named Anna Jarvis in uh, 1908. And she lobbied for Mother's Day to become um, to be placed on the calendar as a holiday. And she was successful. Woodrow Wilson put it on the calendar in 1914. She was motivated to do this by her mother, Anne, who had written, I hope and pray that someone someday will found a memorial Mother's Day commemorating her for the matchless service. And here's the important phrase, she renders to humanity in every field of life. Not just being a mother. She renders to humanity in every field of life. Well, Anna was close enough to her mother, and she wanted to make sure that that happened. And that's how Mother's Day got started. But it's important to know that Anna Jarvis never had children. And after she worked so hard to get Mother's Day founded, she decided it was a mistake because she saw the impact it was having on women and the commercialism that had been um, kind of taken over Mother's Day. And she started to work uh, to get it off of the calendar. Um, and actually later in life, she spent most of her 
a fortune uh, on legal fees trying to get Mother's Day removed from the calendar. Um, why is that? Because I think she began to see as a woman that the way that corporations were making money and the way that women were being defined solely in terms of being mothers was detrimental to women in general. And it didn't carry out what she felt her mother wanted to have happen, which was some kind of commemoration of women or the service they render to humanity in every field of life. So Carl Jung said, the world will ask you who you are. And if you don't know, the world will tell you. And I think in some ways, Mother's Day has become the world telling women who they are. So yes, if you have children, you're a mother. That's a part of who you are. But it certainly is not the totality. Don't let the world on this Mother's Day tell you who you are. You tell the world who you are. And who you are, whatever your religious tradition, is a spiritual being that has been placed on this planet for a variety of reasons. And uh, claim that, claim that identity on this Mother's Day. Thanks. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. No matter what time of day it is, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to take a few moments today to encourage you. No matter what you choose to do today, whether you choose to engage in something distracting or dive into something intentionally for healing, you are making the right choice for you. It doesn't matter if you choose something that just gets you through the day or engage in an active recovery project. Do what you need to do. The hurt an estranged mother feels on this day is one of the deepest of parental pains. But as time goes on and you continue to work on recovery, you'll find that your hurting moves to healing and eventually to helping others in recovery. In the pursuit of capitalism built on the emotion of the title mother, women have been narrowly defined but by how well they live up to an unrealistic, idealized version of perfection. As mothers, you are all perfectly imperfect. You gave selflessly honestly, sacrificially, and to the best of your ability, most of the time, like we all have. You are perfectly imperfect. You wiped snotty noses, cleaned up scraped knees, and soothed children when they were upset, most of the time. You are perfectly imperfect. Did you get it right every time? No one does, and no one ever will. Your worth is not dependent on perfection or even near perfection. It depends on your heart. Mothering is a humbling experience and you accepted that. Mothering takes strength and courage and you mustered that. Mothering is the ultimate call to sacrifice and you sacrificed. Mothering is about finding strength you didn't know you had and you found it. You are the amazing mom that went to children's concerts and ball games, helped in the classroom, helped with homework, and moved bunches of your children's friends from one place to another. You spent money you didn't have. You baked cookies and birthday cakes late at night, dug in the dirt, and when it felt impossible, you just did it. Nike has nothing on you. We at Peak salute you and all that you have stood for. We acknowledge the blows you took and the resilience you showed. Take that mama bear back out into the world with your head held high and tell the world who you are.